guys, welcome back to Bit by Bit. Uh, I'm Jess, and today we're doing something a little bit different. This is going to be the first in a series of videos where I um, show you how to do a like video game themed hairstyle or nails or you know something related to video games and style. Um, so there's going to be a lot of different ways that this manifests um, on the channel from here on out. Please let me know if there's anything in particular you're wanting to see and I will look into providing that for you guys. Um, and today I'm just going to show you a really quick hairstyle that is um, based off of Princess Zelda from Breath of the Wilds. It's not an exact replica of her hairstyle, but it sort of attempts to mimic um, the sort of crown braid that she has on top with the hair out in the front. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so you're going to start by brushing through your hair, making sure that there aren't any tangles or anything because you're going to be doing a lot of braiding. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and section your hair on one side from your front, the front of your ear um, and all the way back. And you'll notice that I'm leaving some hair above my ear so that there's some hair still covering my ear after I've taken the section. And then we're just gonna braid that, a normal braid, all the way down. As you're doing this, make sure not to accidentally collect any pieces of hair from other parts of your head. You just wanna work with the hair that you already have in your hands. So you'll notice as I'm going through that I sort of have to sweep some hair out of the way. Once you get to the bottom of this braid, you're going to go ahead and secure it either with a bobby pin or like a small hair tie. I tend to use oil pins because my hair is not that long and not that thick, so, um, but you might need a little bit extra support just to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Um, and then you're going to take the section you left out in the front and sort of smooth it back over top of that braid. You'll see there's a few hairs still out in front of the ear and under the braid, but this front section, now that it's over the braid, we're just gonna pin it. I use two bobby pins crossing over each other just so that it's super secure. All right, now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So once again, you're taking that section from the front of your ear and you're you know pulling it out um, so that you don't accidentally pull it into your braid. And then from there, you're going to take a section from behind your ear and a little bit above your ear. See how there's still a few hairs above, like over my ear. And then you're going to braid this section all the way down. Alright, once again when you get to the bottom you're going to go ahead and secure it with a bobby pin or a small hair tie. And then you're going to take that front section, leaving some hairs around your face if that's how you like it, and um, you're going to sweep it over top of the braid and back. And then you're going to secure that with some bobby pins. All right. Now for the fun part. We're going to take the braid on the first side and we're just going to sort of pull it apart so that it's a little bit bigger. You want to be careful, especially if you have shorter hair, not to pull out any of the hair that's in the braid. I use a little bit of hairspray um, in order to make it easier to sort of tug on without it falling apart and it adds a little bit of extra texture. I like nice big braids and I think that works pretty well to get the same texture as Zelda. And you're going to sort of bring it over the top of your head. And once you're happy with the placement of it, you're just going to pin it in place. And don't worry too much if it looks a little funky on one side because you're going to cover it with the other braid. All right, now we're gonna take the other side, do the exact same thing, pull apart the braid, give it a nice texture. 
This braid is a little bit smaller on, on the one side for me because I part my hair on the side. If you part your hair in the middle, both of your braids will be the same size, um, but I tried to pull this one apart extra well because it's so much smaller. Okay, and then you're gonna wrap that over the top of your head as well, sort of covering the loose ends from the other one as you go. Right, and then when you get that pinned in place, you can sort of tuck any of the little extra flyaways and ends of the braid under the first braid. Um, so you just sort of tuck them in under there and then sit them with the bobby pin. You want to take a few seconds just to make sure you have everything sort of pinned in place, make sure nothing's sticking out funny. I know for me, I also wanted to make sure that you couldn't like see my scalp too much near the part where I pulled up the hair for the braid just because we had a pretty um, like strict separation of the hair there. So you can go through and pull little bits of hair down and uh, just to give it a little bit more of a natural look. And then you have you know, Zelda's hairstyle or something somewhat resembling it with the braid on the top and the hairs out in the, in the front. Um, and for that, if you want, you can also try to find something like the blue clips that she has to stick in the front for a more authentic look if you happen to be cosplaying. But otherwise, it looks pretty nice for an everyday hairstyle and um, it's just the sort of thing that you can wear around anywhere. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.